Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome to this HUD8 tutorial on how to tip Redcoin on Twitter. For those of you that don't know what Redcoin is, Redcoin is the social networking cryptocurrency, and it's set up so that you can tip, in other words, you can show your support and show your thanks to content creators on the web. Now, there's multiple ways that we can tip with Redcoin. You can tip on Telegram, you can tip on Reddit, and what we're going to be covering here is how to tip on Twitter. We're also going to be answering some of the key questions that come up with respect to Redcoin as well as tipping with cryptocurrency. Those questions are, do I need to have a Redcoin wallet? Do I need to buy Redcoin in order to receive tips? How do I get my tips? How do I move my tips from Twitter into my Redcoin wallet? Do I need to follow someone or do they need to be following me in order to send and receive tips? And so we're going to go over each of those components individually to make sure that you can get yourself up and running in no time at all. So let's go ahead and dive in here. And this is the Red Redcoin homepage, www.redcoin.com. And so let's answer that first question that we talked about. Do I have to have a Redcoin wallet to participate in tipping on Twitter? And that could be sending tips or receiving tips. And the answer is no, you don't necessarily have to have a Redcoin wallet. However, there are some significant benefits. First and foremost, you don't want to keep or store your Redcoin on Twitter. It's okay to keep some there to tip out. However, for permanent storage, the best bet is to come to the Redcoin website, go to the wallets, and download one of the wallets. Now, what Redcoin is all about is proof-of-stake velocity. And that's a little different when you compare or contrast it to coins like Bitcoin, which is more of a proof-of-work, where you're mining. Well, with Redcoin, it's all about proof-of-stake, which means the coins that you're holding on to in your wallet, those can actually earn you additional Redcoin as long as you keep that wallet unlocked and connected to the Redcoin network, you're able to earn Redcoin for doing absolutely nothing other than allowing your wallet to participate in the Redcoin network. Now, I highly recommend downloading a wallet because this is where ultimately you would want to move those tips to. Now, there was also a really nice update that just came out from the Redcoin team. As you can see here, it's on Reddit, and it's from March 2nd, which is yesterday, and it talks about the Redcoin roadmap and the future of RDD. A very, very talented team of developers has picked up Redcoin from where it was left off. And again, I highly recommend taking a look at this. If you did want to buy some Redcoin, that's a question that quick it comes up constantly. And again, you can get... Uh, one of the big three, you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. And then you could come to a website like Shapeshift and you can basically say, I'm going to take my Bitcoin and I want to receive Redcoin. And so Shapeshift supports Redcoin. So if you had Ethereum, you could swap it into Redcoin. If you had Litecoin, and again, you can do this with multiple different cryptocurrencies. However, you want to make sure, and this is where the wallet comes into play again, is that you have a wallet where you can send your Redcoin, right? You want to download that Redcoin Core wallet. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about how do we tip on Twitter with Redcoin. And so you can see here, this is the Redcoin tip bot. And the tip bot is what makes everything work. And so what we want to do is we want to follow the tip bot. So I have actually set up sort of a demo account here. And again, this is if you're a content creator and you're not on Twitter, this is a very easy way to go ahead, set up a Twitter account and participate and receive Redcoin tips. So I've set up this Travis INE, right? At Travis INE. And again, this is not my real Twitter account. It's the real Twitter account is the one that was on the splash screen there, the opening slide. So here is a brand new user. And let's say that this user receives some Redcoin uh, as a tip. So let me transition back over to my real account here, right? And I'm going to go ahead and demo basically sending a tip right now, but that's so that we can have a conversation with the other Twitter account as to from ground zero, I'm a brand new user. I receive a notification that someone has tipped me Redcoin. What do I do? So let's go ahead and send the tip. And again, this is kind of jumping ahead a little bit. And I'm going to say Travis INE. 
And then we're going to send Travis I and E now. Very important here. The minimum is 10 red coin. And the reason that I stress this is this causes some confusion. If you were to say 9 or 5 or 1, it's not going to respond. It's not going to do anything, but you're not going to receive an error either. So you want to make sure that you do 10 or more. So we're going to send 25 red coin over to the Travis I and E account. And I'm simply going to say RDD, right? So tip at Travis I and E, 25 RDD. And let me go ahead and hit enter. Now, you'll notice that we get a confirmation back. And again, this is different when you use 10 or more. If I don't put 10 or more in, I don't get anything back. So again, we see we've got this confirmation. It says, please remind the recipient to follow me to claim it. Now, it doesn't mean me, Travis P. Von Feely. It means the tip red coin tip bot, right? So at tip red coin, the red coin tip bot, that is who needs to be followed. So let's go back over to the net new account. So here we are. We've got this net new account. Let me go ahead and refresh here. And we'll see what's going on. And we'll say skip all. And we'll take a look at messages. So I've got no new messages that have shown up yet. What about notifications? Right? Any notifications that have come in? No notifications. And so what you're seeing is you're going to want to make sure that you follow up with the user who you have tipped to let them know, hey, you're going to have a tip. You should follow the red, sorry, you should follow the red coin tip bot. So let's do that. Let's search Twitter and we'll say at tip red coin. And so there's the tip red coin tip bot. And I'm going to follow the red coin tip bot. So now that I've followed the red coin tip bot, what is it that I can do? Well, I can direct message the tip bot at this point. So let's say new message at tip red coin. And we'll say next. And here's where you can enter in your registration, right? So all I have to say is registration in order to register. And take a look at what happens here. Travis Ione, you have received a red coin tip of 25 red coins from at Travis P. Bonfili. So I type in my registration. So I can also type in some other commands. First and foremost, let's take a look at the command set, starting with the help command. Because if you're new to this, you may not know the commands that you can run. And you can see they're kind of grayed out over here because we've got the message uh, screen in front of it. But there are the commands as well. And here they are. Register plus info, balance account, uh, plus info, plus balance, plus account. And so let's walk through some of these on this brand new Twitter user account. So I've already said plus register. So if we were to say plus register again, right, you can see you're already registered. You can view your balances and deposit addresses with the info command. So let's check out info. So here's this new user. You can see here it shows my deposit address. Now, this deposit address is if you are interested in tipping red coin, this is where you would send the red coin so that it gets held by the tip red coin tip bot or the at tip red coin tip bot. And again, think of it like this. Think of the red coin tip bot as like the bank. And when you send red coin into this deposit address, you're kind of keeping it in one of the safety deposit boxes in the bank. And the red coin tip bot can differentiate you by your Twitter username. And as you can see here, it knows that we have 25. And this is the other reason that you don't want to store all of your red coin on Twitter. Because if for whatever reason there's some sort of uh, incident where the tip bot is down for whatever reason, or maybe uh, the tip bot is having issues, you don't want your red coin to get stuck, stolen, or lost right? So again, keep it in a safe place. But if you're interested in tipping, that is the address that you would send to. Now, this is going to be different than your permanent wallet address as well. So remember that. It's always safer to store it in your wallet. So let's take a look at our history here. And you can see that we've got um, one transaction. And it basically just shows that you received a tip, right? 
from Travis P. Bonfili, and this is who it was sent to, and it shows the amount of RDD, and it shows the date, right? So you get a nice little ledger of information. Let's go ahead and take a look at the balance, which I believe is almost identical to what we just saw right there. And did I spell that right? I did. Yeah, so there's the balance. It looks very similar. And then finally, let's say plus account. And we'll see what information the account shows. I think it's the same as the balance. And it is. And you can see right there, it shows my address, my balance. Now, what about summary? We're going to receive some summary information from the Redcoin tip bot. And it simply shows that you've sent no tips and no RDD, so for a total of no RDD, and you've received one tip, so for a total of 25 red coins. So let's go ahead and type help up here again. And so that is a nice little demonstration of the different commands that you can run once you register or I'm sorry, once you follow the Redcoin tip bot. And so then you would simply say, I'm going to register. And now I've got the, and you notice, I didn't buy any Redcoin here. I didn't have to uh, transfer any Redcoin in. These are tips in Redcoin that I'm receiving. And so how do we tip people? Well, you simply say plus tip at, oops, sorry, plus tip at username, and then the amount of RDD. So I think we had, if I were to go back over here, and we've got some notifications that have come in, and you can see, thank you for registering. You can now send and receive. So let's save this. Let's retweet this out, right? And I think we had, uh, who was it? Ellen DeGeneres had shown up up here. I believe. And let's see if this is Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, so we've got Ellen DeGeneres, right? So let's go ahead. She showed up earlier. So we're going to go ahead and send Ellen a tip. So we'll come to Messages, and here's how it's all done. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say plus tip. We're going to send it to Ellen DeGeneres. And the amount of RDD, we'll go ahead and send her the minimum of 10. And that's it. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, you'll notice I'm not following Ellen. She's not following me. So that answers those questions. Do you have to be following the individual to tip them? The answer is no. Do they have to be following you? The answer is no. But now what I should do is I should send a tweet out real quickly saying, you know, hey, Ellen, you've received 10 red coin from me as a tip for the content that you've produced. Please make sure you claim it. All right. So we talked about the Redcoin wallet. We talked about whether or not you need to buy Redcoin. We talked about whether you've got to follow somebody or they have to follow you in order for you to participate and send and receive tips. Now let's go ahead and look at that last command right there, which is how do I transfer the Redcoin from Twitter into my wallet? How is that going to work? Because remember, we want to move it somewhere for safekeeping. And for this, I'll demo this with my regular account right here. And so I've sent a tip out. Let me go ahead. I want to check my balance. Let's see what we've got. It should be 76.97. And you can see there is a fee, but it is literally pennies on the dollar, right? Now, how do we withdraw? Well, I'm simply going to say, and let me pull that up for you real quickly. So here's the help menu one more time. So I'm going to say plus withdraw. And then the address to which I'm going to withdraw, and this is going to be my wallet address, which, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I had used earlier. And it is not showing up up there. All right, so I would have to know my wallet address. So let me pause real quickly and grab that. And actually, you know what? I've got a Redcoin wallet that I have just installed here. So let's do this. Right up here in the Redcoin wallet that I'm running on this iMac, let's go ahead and send some Redcoin here. In other words, if this was the Redcoin wallet where I was keeping my Redcoin for safekeeping, this is where I would send it. So I'm going to give it a second here to come online. You can see the Mac is thinking a little bit. And then all we're going to need to do is click on the request. And we're going to see that we're going to be able to generate an address to which we can send 
our red coin tips. And so here we go, iMac RDD wallet. And so let's use this. I'm going to double click on that. And what you're going to see is it's going to open up. It's going to show me the QR code for this wallet. And it's also going to show me something else. It's going to show me the address, right? Sort of that random string of characters that gets used. And so here it is, and there's the address right there. So let me go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over here. So we're going to say withdraw, and we're going to put in our red coin wallet address, right? We're sending it here for safekeeping, and I'm only going to send 10. Now, also very key, the minimum to withdraw, just like the minimum to tip, is 10. So let's go ahead and send 10 RDD, and I'll hit enter. And you can see that the withdrawal is going to get processed rather quickly. And there it is. We've got a confirmation. Everything is good to go. 10 red coin have been tipped. So if I were to say balance, I should be at 70 or 66 and change, right? You can see it was 0.01 red coin was what it cost me for the transaction. Uh, and then we can take a look at summary. And let's see what we've done. So I've sent three tips total 45 RDD and received one tip for a total of 21 RDD. All right, so we've got 66 red coin in here. I don't want to transfer these to my wallet. So let's spread the word about red coin right now. So let's do this. I'm going to send a tip to at Judge RDD. And Judge RDD, if you haven't watched his, oops, 100 there, go for 10. If you haven't watched his weekly Red Coin updates, they're absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and tip our uh, Judge Red 10 Red Coin. Uh, there was another individual who had asked me on Reddit who was looking for some information on Reddit. Uh, he was having some issues with the tip bot. And so we kind of exchanged some things back and forth. And his username was Pack Enthusiast. So I'm going to say plus tip at PAC underscore enthusiast. And we're going to send him 10 RDD. And let's go ahead and see how things look now. And take a look at that. You've sent a total of five tips now, right? So the tips are flowing out, right? And that is about it. Again, We've walked through all of the different steps, right? We talked about how you can get red coin if you wanted to start tipping. We talked about where to keep it for safekeeping. We answered a lot of the key questions as to how you go about tipping red coin. Do you need the wallet? Do you need to follow somebody? We also went over each and every command as to what are the commands that I can use to see, right? With the plus help, it'll show me all of the commands. You can also see it after you follow the red coin tip bot. And again, that is really all you need to do as a content creator in order to start receiving the red coin tips is claim them, follow the tip bot. That's a one-time activity. And then from there on out, all of the red coin tips that come in will show up here in your wallet. You actually get notified when those tips come in so that if you wanted to transition them off and put them into your wallet for safekeeping, you can. Again, remember, you can tip red coin on Telegram, you can tip red coin on Reddit, and this is how you tip red coin on Twitter. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. I've left my QR codes there as well as my Twitter username, at Travis P. Bonfili. I hope this video has helped you out. I hope it's made it easier for you to figure out how to participate, again, as a, either a content creator or as someone supporting content creators out there on the web. This is a fantastic way to leverage the social network cryptocurrency Redcoin. All right. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend.